Where IAI sets itself apart is it is the founding institution for contemporary Native arts. So this is where it was established. When we opened our doors in October 1962, they the administration saw the value of this program and they started collecting and we've been collecting from the students, faculty and staff and alumni since the 60s. Probably the most valuable asset that we have is this collection. It, it more or less represents, I think, our history. Most of our contemporary Native artists came out of uh, the Institute of American Indian Arts. They either taught here, went to school here, worked here. Even though you don't know much about Indian art or contemporary Indian art, you might know some names out there. Loy Kiva New, and that's an early work called Indian Beadwork. Um, it's another um, Loy Kiva New painting, it's untitled. Alan Hauser is one of our most famous, he, he's, he's Chiricahua Apache. He taught here. Fritz Shoulder, this is called One Navajo, it's an early work by Fritz Shoulder. And then the rest of this art rack is work by T.C. Cannon. T.C. Cannon, he died I think in the 70s, but he's still so well known. He's a pop cultural icon of IIA. He, he really took to that idea of, of using that pop movement and creating these really heavy hitting paintings. This collection demonstrates that we're on a par with art from anywhere else in the world and really enhances what we're able to do.